there. Welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra. You may or may not know me. If you do, hi, welcome back. If you don't, hi and welcome to my channel. You're going to enjoy this. <laughs> Today I am here to show you how to sublimate on an aluminum sheet blank. What I'm talking about specifically are these beautiful things that you can get at uh, Michael's, Cricut.com, lots of places, and even some wholesale places that do sell these as blanks. Um, just the sheets, not infusible ink or Cricut brand, uh, but I do like the Cricut brand, so why not? That and I got it on sale for five bucks for two of the big ones, so I'll take it. Anyway, so these are made for, they're supposed to be for engraving, you can see here, it gives you all the instructions for engraving and the price that I paid. <laughs> um, but they're technically for engraving. So I don't want to engrave what I'm about to put on here. So I saw that it was compatible with infusible ink, which means that it's going to have some sort of polyester, polyurethane type coating on it. Now I know this is going to work or it should work because I've done it before, but with infusible ink markers. So sublimation should work. We're going to test this out. Hopefully it does work because it's going to be pretty awesome. And if it doesn't, it's going to suck. Either way, <laughs> you're going to find out with me today. So we are going to do a sublimation print onto one of these bad boys. So what you get in this package are two sheets that look like this. They are metal, they're aluminum, but they're also very bendy. There's two here. I'm trying not to put my fingers on them too much because I don't want the oils to mess up the coating on there. But I'm gonna have to anyway, because there's tape there, so. I'm gonna have to touch it. I don't wanna touch it. But there's two sides. So you can see here, there's a gold shimmery side or a goldish side and a silver side. This says, for engraving, you want to remove the protective film. It doesn't tell you what to do for infusible ink, which side you should use. So we're gonna wing it. I'm gonna assume that you have to sublimate onto this side. And if not, at least I got an extra one. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. Maybe. Or just, you know, yank it out. There we go. So here we go, two-sided, like I said, bendy. Um, which is why the maker can engrave it. Also, this type of material is only for the engraver, or the engraver, the maker, if you're going to engrave it because you need that extra pressure that the maker has. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this protective film, but I'm not going to touch. Actually, I'm not gonna remove that yet because I got a few more things to go over with you. So you need this metal sheet, aluminum sheet with polyester coating. You obviously need your sublimation prints what I have here, some butcher paper, um, some heat resistant tape and scissors if you haven't already like cut your stuff up. So this print I did on um, HTV Ront sublimation paper. Um, I'll put some links in the bottom. We got a 20% off coupon code for you off of this and the sublimation ink. So if you're wanting to change your ink or get into sublimation, this is a great product to start with um, or to keep going with, I don't know whichever, <laughs> but um, HTV Rot paper and ink is what I'm using here for sublimation. I have the Epson 2720 and you can print up to eight and a half by 14, I believe is what it allows you to do. You can't do anything wider than eight and a half though. That I did learn. So HTV Rot paper and ink 20% off in the description. All right. I've got my print, got my sheet. I'm gonna take this and remove it again without touching it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my design that I'm going to be putting on top of it. I'll throw that away later. So here we've got enough, so. I need to remove all this stuff. 
I'll get to you later. All right, I'm trying not to touch it, but I do need some scissors because I need to cut around his feet, see some. So this is a picture of the pup that we lost a couple of weeks ago. He passed away across the Rainbow Bridge. And I am just making a little extra of a memorial for him to go up on our fireplace mantle. These sublimation plates, like the aluminum prints, are like one of the best ways to do something like this. So he was just the sweetest little dog unless you took his shark. If you took a shark, then uh, it was game over on your part. Alrighty, and just cutting around the ears a little bit more too. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this. Oh, make sure you mirror your image. I have my printer set to mirror it, so. And I might have to rethink how I had this laid out because it's too big. Mew. So the most important thing is getting his face on there, so. Hmm. Crapola, I've made it too big. I'm just cr designing like on the fly here. To get the image without the background, all I did was put it into Canva and did the background remover. If you have Canva Pro, it can remove the background. So I need this to kind of, maybe I could put it up here. I'll put his name down here. This is still not working out for me, guys. Darn it. I might not be able to put his name on here unless I remove his paw. I don't want to remove his paws. <laughs> Sorry, I totally thought that I had this planned. I thought that it would all fit. As my husband would say, that's what I get for thinking. I am at my best when I don't think. And I just let it go and let it do its thing. Maybe we'll put the quote on the other side. I don't know if it'll work. So we're gonna find out. Darn it. I might have to kind of layer this. Not the look I was going for, but. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna go with how I've got it. Cause there's no other way of putting it. And letting it, and making it fit. There go, so I'm just, I've got my image on there and I've got it taped right at the top. And then I'm gonna put this down. I do have also have a towel nearby to pick it back up with because it's going to be very, very hot. My heat press is set to 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Do not go lower, do not go less time. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. I'll make sure to put that in the description for you. So then we put the butcher paper on top and then we press. Medium pressure, 60 seconds, let it do its thing. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this quote. I gotta put it on there somehow. Maybe I'll like stagger it, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. For now, we're just gonna get the, the pressing done. So while that's pressing, the again, the paper is HTV Rant and the sublimation ink is HTV Rant as well. I will put all of the links in the description it will also have a 20% off coupon code for those two products. Those two products are not that expensive. I think the ink was like 25 bucks, maybe less, um, which using the 20% off makes it even better. <laughs> and it's ordered on Amazon. So even better because you get prime shipping. So it's a no brainer, really. 
in my opinion, anyways. <laughs> the sublimation paper does come in, you can get eight and a half by 11, 11 by 17, 11 by 14, all of that. All right, so we are gonna let that sit for just a second because it's going to be hot. But I do have some tweezer things that I'm going to use to peel off. I don't, these came with one of the Cricut tool kits. I don't really know what they're for, so I just use them as tweezers. So I'm gonna hold this down. Oh man, I was trying to avoid that. It didn't really work. What the heck? <laughs> that was scary. So it didn't really work. Interesting. Though, runaway picture. That's sad. Why didn't you work? This is not okay. It says with infusible ink. This sucks. I wonder if I flip it over and do the other side. Uno momento, poor favor. Be back in a second. Okay, and I'm back. I had to go do a little bit of thinking. I'm an idiot. I pressed the wrong side. So the gold side is the back. That's not the side you wanna press on. You do wanna remove the film, but it's not the side you wanna press on. The side that you wanna press on is the silver side that also has a film on it, but you can't really tell, which is why the first sheet kind of stuck to my press. Thankfully, I got it off. So we're going to give this a go again. Hopefully that image is not going to be ruined. Fingers crossed here. Because I don't want to wait and print another one. I'm just lazy and I do this all real time. I don't edit very much at all. I am going to edit kind of a little bit of that last clip. But that's okay. This is all in real time. Might as well be alive. But it's not. So gold side is back. Silver side is front. So when you are going to put your stuff on, this film is on here. So remember that. <laughs> Remove that, get rid of it, then put your, what I would do to avoid confusing them is go ahead, put your image, your transfer image right on top of where you're going to be pressing. Go ahead and place it on the right side so that it doesn't get all confusing. Then remove the backing just the gold part, a little piece of your fingernail there. Remove that again, get rid of it. Now you have it on the right side <laughs> and you're not gonna melt a clear coating on the back side. Then you put it on your press, then you put your butcher paper down, then you press it with no pressure for 60 seconds. It's already going. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that on the floor because that is the third time I've tried to throw that piece of film away and it just doesn't wanna go in the trash can. So it's gonna stay there. So noted, it does have two sides. You can clearly see here, and that is why it's stuck. That is why it kind of transferred but not really transferred at all now this i will be able to save because it is peeling off it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna like test my my patience so i'll be able to reuse this it's not a total waste which i'm totally fine with that is what craftily and crafting unedited is all about my friends is fucking it all up and then fixing it and showing you what i did wrong and how to fix it in this case it was literally just reading the instructions that were not in the box. Yeah. So, pull this off. It does say cold peel. So we're gonna leave that for just a few seconds. I might use my tweezer doohickeys to kind of lift it off of the hot press. A little bit, get a little air. That way it can breathe and get cold a little faster here. But this should work. 
Y'all should work. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. The other really cool thing that you can do with these while we wait for this to cool is sublimate or use infusible ink or even acrylic pens and engrave then, you know, kind of fill that in. But if you're going to use both engraving and sublimation or infusible ink, what I would recommend is pressing first. So sublimating or infusible inking first, then engraving. Because if you try to sublimate into the engraving, it doesn't really work. I've tried that. Um, there's a video on it a while back, but if you engrave then sublimate, it does work significantly better. And maybe I'll do that one of these times, but right now that's, that's not what we're focusing on. We are focusing on this. So it should be pretty cool. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's my little pinky boo. Oh. My heart. Look how cute that turned out. Oh my God. That's awesome. It does work, guys. You just got to do it right. <laughs> Don't be an idiot like me. All right, so now we got to figure out how I'm going to get his name up on here. Maybe right here. I don't know. I'll figure that out later, guys. So, does work. It's beautiful. It's still very, very hot. Not touching it. But it, it's on there. It's not smearing off. I could probably run some warm water over it and it would be beautiful. Now, the only thing is that I am a little confused about maybe because his the area of his um, fur was a bit lighter so it's kind of white in that area right there but yeah it's clearly not the transfers issue it's it's definitely the picture so right there you can kind of see where it's white you can see it's right there i thought that it just like ghosted or something on me but no it did not ghost there we go my friends it's not hot anymore you can use it and i'm so happy how this turned out let's turn the Look at that. Turn the ring light off and you can see it way better. I'm so excited about this, guys. All right. That's really all I had. I wanted to show you how to do this in case I kind of confused you with my F up. So these are the aluminum sheets. You're going to need a sublimation transfer, heat resistant tape, scissors, and butcher paper, and then a heat press set to 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Then you're going to remove the clear film on the top of the sheet um, and then put your transfer on top of the silver side. Then once your transfer is in place, you'll flip it over, remove the gold film from the back. I don't really know why they put the gold on the other side. If you have that answer, please enlighten me. That makes it more confusing to me. They should have just coated both sides, in my opinion. But whatever. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Anyway, so. Remove the gold side. Put it on the press. Transfer facing down. But with your press plate facing. Like you normally would, okay? <laughs> if you're not sure, then ask. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Anyways, and then the butcher paper, and then you press for 60 seconds. Let it cool off. Don't try to pick it up with your fingers. It's going to burn. Then, once it's cool, you remove the transfer, and you should be good to go. You should have something as beautiful as this. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or just want to tell me to screw off, that's totally fine. Drop me a comment. And remember, there are um, links for coupon codes in the description have yourself a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.